And Fox 5 Health News got off to a late start, but experts say flu season is finally here, and they have some advice on how to avoid getting blindsided by the virus. Oh, yes. Joining us now is Dr. Doris Day, clinical associate professor from NYU Medical Center. Do tell, do tell. Well, the flu virus, like you mentioned, is mm. having a late start, but it is here, and we're seeing cases where even people who are relatively healthy, who haven't had the flu shot, can end up in the hospital, even in the intensive care unit. And now with the Super Bowl coming, we're all excited, weather's a little bit chilly, and the flu virus survives best in the cold, uh -huh, and then right. is spread best when we're in closed environments. Mm. So you go to a Super Bowl party, and you're high-fiving, and that uh -huh. person has a little sniffle, and they're touching your face. Ouch. You can only wash your hands so much. There's lots of finger foods around. Right. Right. And that's how the virus spreads. So it's really good to be careful. And if you do get the flu or if you have flu-like symptoms, see your doctor, take antivirals early. It gives your best chance of having a less severe course mm -hmm. and making it go away just a little bit faster. So not too late for the flu shot if you haven't got it. Well, it's never, it's not too late, but, but it would have been better if you got it sooner. <laughs> gotcha. But still get it if you can. Right. If it's you still a good got idea. It, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Um, deodorant. Yes. So What's the problem? Yeah. You know, always in question, and I get questions all the time sure, about their sure. safety. There's lots of data about the safety of antiperspirant, but researchers in North Carolina took 17 people, a third of whom used nothing, a third used antiperspirants, and a third used deodorants. And the difference between antiperspirant and right, deodorant right. is that a deodorant deodorizes, takes away the smell, but doesn't stop you from sweating. Right. So they did cultures of bacteria in all of the patients in all the people and then they had them do nothing for six days yeah. and then they for the last two days they all used antiperspirants and then they remeasured for the amount of bacteria mm -hmm. and what they found was that people who used antiperspirants and then when everyone used antiperspirants they had almost no bacteria in the areas that they cultured so now those bacteria are what gives your body odor and that's why we use antiperspirants because that odor is not so good right. right but those same bacteria may protect you against some infections so the question is, does it really matter? Are those, the, reducing that bacteria, does it cause harm? So 17 people is not a lot of people. We mm -hmm. could use a bigger study right. looking at that bacteria and having it reduced to almost nothing. Is that enough to protect you or do you need higher counts for protection? But in reality, you look at people wearing antiperspirants all the time, we don't see a lot of infections. So maybe for people who are more prone to infections, we have to be more oh, careful. Okay. So it's interesting data, but we need way more information, a larger group of people, and looking at what that change in the skin biome, the skin microenvironment, yeah. what it really means for your overall health. So we've changed that a lot with everything we do. Now we're trying to sort through what it really means. It does, it, when you take a step back, it does seem like an unnatural thing to put antiperspirant on a part of your body that's prone to perspire multiple times a day. But in your underarms, you have two different kinds of glands. Yeah. One that's designed to sweat for temperature and one that's designed to give an odor. And that's from primitive time, that's to give up an odor, way. to warn people and other you know, hostile things to stay away. We don't need that anymore. We have other ways of communicating right. that. Maybe we do need it now. Speak for yourself. <laughs> I'm going off the odor. I want to keep everyone away from me. That's a great yes, idea. I'm yes. going caveman. We, we used to be skunks. I don't think so. Warning is a primal anchor that's nearby. That's hilarious, <laughs> Leave Nick. Leave me be. Oh, my God. Thank you, Dr. Day. You're